All right, so apologies if I'm looking kind of tired today. Baby girl's been going through a bit of a sleep regression. She's at that four month mark, so that's kind of expected. But yeah, still trying to catch up on sleep a little bit. I'm pretty tired. So real quick, I wanna make a disclaimer that this process that I'm gonna share is what works for my hair. My hair type, my hair texture, my hair thickness. That being said, if you have similar hair to mine, I imagine it will probably work for you too, but if you have a different hair type, you might need a different routine. So guys with curly hair, guys with coarse hair, guys with thinner hair, this may or may not work for you, so just wanted to throw that out there. All right, let's get into it. What's up, Mames? Trav White here. You know, like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's get into it. So this video is going to cover my three secret weapons for amazing hair, and I'm going to tell you how I use each one and walk you through my routine using them so hopefully you can achieve the same results if you have a similar hair type to me. You can get every single item in this video from Amazon, and I will link to it in the description. Also, be sure to come on over to Mannered Mains, which is my Facebook community for men on their hair and beard growth journey. It's super positive and the guys in there are incredibly knowledgeable and can most likely answer any questions you have. Also hit me up on Instagram at Trav underscore white underscore. Okay so the first secret weapon in my hair care routine is actually this bad boy. What is this? This is my microfiber turban. So I got this on Amazon for $12 and this speeds up the drying time so much faster because microfiber is much more absorbent than cotton. It's also much gentler on soaking wet hair than a coarse cotton towel is. And it also prevents you from scrubbing your hair with a towel to dry it, which could potentially damage it. So it's designed to gently squeeze and absorb the water out of your hair. Also, if you're trying to reduce the amount of time under a blow dryer or reduce the amount of heat you put onto your hair, this is a really good way to go because you can use them together in tandem. So what would normally take two to three hours for your hair to air dry or 30 minutes under a hair dryer could be cut in half by just using this thing for 15 minutes and it's really gentle on your hair. So how do I use it? So what I do is after I shower, I will bend over, flip my head upside down. So my hair basically comes down in front of my face and then I'll place this over my head and then I'll twist my hair into the tail of the towel. Once it's twisted, there's a little elastic band on the end and what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip that over to the back of your head and then take that elastic band and clasp it to the button that's on the back of the towel. That's where the elastic band clasps you. So I like to leave that on my hair for 10 to 15 minutes. And this is also really helpful because while your hair is drying in that towel, I tend to go through my skincare or beard care routine during that time. So I can kind of kill two birds with one stone. So after about 10 to 15 minutes, take it off and voila, my hair is just a little damp rather than soaking or dripping wet. So at this point, I use secret weapon number two, which is my favorite leave-in conditioner spray. At the moment it is. It's this Wee Milk Lotion from Davines, but the main reason I like it is because I have really fine hair, meaning when I take one strand of hair and I do that, I can barely feel it in my hair. So my hair is really, really fine, and this spray is a really light mist. It's not like a heavy cream or a heavy oil. If you have coarse hair or thick and coarse hair that kind of poofs like that, you probably want something a little bit heavier, but most leave-ins tend to weigh my hair down and make it really flat flat because they're either a heavy cream or heavy oil. But this is a light mist and it lightly coats my hair and is phenomenal at reducing frizz better than any argan oil I've used or any other leave-in. And yes, it does have some silicones in it, but if you've seen my video on if silicones are actually bad for your hair or not, you'll know that when used properly, they're actually incredibly effective. You know, I'm not worried about silicone buildup because my shampoo and conditioner from Beard Brand are both silicone free. So each time I shampoo, I strip any of the silicones off, and this is the only silicone-based product that I use. Plus, I only use it when I shampoo, and then maybe one time more, two to three days later, if there's any frizz just from going about my days. And then when I shampoo my hair five to seven days later, it gets rid of any buildup I have. So the silicone mistake that I see a lot of people make is that they use a shampoo and conditioner, both with silicones, plus a leave-in conditioner or oil or a serum that has silicones in it, and then they use styling creams with silicone 
hormones. And then when they wash their hair again, it's a silicone shampoo and conditioner. So it's just constantly building up. And that's where you might run into some buildup issues. So this is how I use silicones effectively because they are amazing at fighting frizz. And also I never have to worry about buildup. But how I use it is I spray, you know, seven to 10 sprays all over the damp hair because this helps give my hair slip because the next step is my secret weapon number three. So I only started using this about two months ago and it's literally been a game changer just for my hair's volume, for frizz, for the length I can go between brushes, but that is my trusty Italian made wooden hairbrush from Tech. Now, I love this brush. I've talked about it before. It blows every other brush I've used out of the water. I used to use a nylon bristle to detangle or a plastic wide tooth comb for detangling. And then I would use a boar bristle brush to spread the oils. But what I used to need two brushes for, this Tech brush does in one. It detangles and spreads oils really well. Plus wood is anti-static by nature, so it does help neutralize that isoelectric point of your hair to keep it from frizzing out. Plus the wood pins absorb and spread the oils really, really well, which does extend the duration I can go between shampooing it. It comes in two different sizes, long pins and short pins. I would recommend short pins for you. Unless your hair is really long and thick, kind of like mine is in density, then I would go for long pins. But if you have thin hair, if you have medium density, or if you have even medium length hair, then I think the short pins would work really good for you. Again, they're really flexible, making it gentle on my hair. So going back to my routine, how I use this, you know, I made a previous video that talked about brushing dry versus wet hair. And this graph that I found from the textbook I'm reading, The Physical and Chemical Behavior of Human Hair, showed that when hair is really wet, the combing force is really high in the beginning. And then as you move your way down to the ends, the combing force, it gets lower and lower. And again, combing force and tangles are what causes breakage. So I wouldn't recommend brushing your hair when it's soaking wet. But on the flip side of that, the combing force of dry hair is much lower in the beginning, but as you make your way down to your ends, the combing force spikes because the ends tend to wrap around these pins or these bristles, increasing the tension, increasing the friction, increasing the possibility for tangles. So what I've tried doing and it's been working really well is not brushing my hair soaking wet or not brushing it dry, but just brushing it when it's damp. So it's almost dry, but it's not soaking wet either. And when I combine that, the gentle tech brush with the leave-in spray that adds a lot of slip to it, there's virtually zero zero friction and tangles. The brush moves through my hair like butter. And as you can see in the B-roll here, you know, there is zero breakage from the brushing. There's like no tangles either. It just slides right through. So that's how I use the tech brush and a leave-in conditioner after drying it in the microfiber turban. So I would also add that if you have curly hair, then detangling it wet is the only way that I would brush it. But I also still do brush my hair twice daily in the morning and the evening just to detangle from the day and spread natural oils around. And I I always brush my hair dry on that end during those times. And during those times, I start on the ends to get any tangles out first. And that way I just move through without any issues. So I only do this routine that I'm talking about now on the days that I shampoo from the shower, which is once or twice a week. After I do all of that, I either let my hair air dry the rest of the way, which it doesn't take too much longer, maybe an hour. Or if I wanna speed up the drying process, I'll blow dry the damp hair on low heat. Uh, and it only takes about 15 minutes to get it the rest of the way dry. And it does help add a little bit of volume to my hair. So I actually washed my hair and did this process two days ago. And this is kind of still how you know my hair looks. It's soft and shiny. There's virtually no frizz. It's still holding up really well. It feels really clean. So this trio together has been my go-to routine for the past couple months. And I feel like my hair has just never looked healthier or felt healthier. I also posted a skincare video a week ago. All of the comments were just like, dude, your hair looks so good. Your hair looks so good. And that was because the day before I had used this exact same process again. Yeah, those are my three tools that I use. The turban, this wee all-in-one milk oil from Davines, and my wooden hairbrush. And those are my three secret weapons for 
from just having awesome hair all the time. And when used together, they're gentle on my hair and they're safe and they really help my hair look shiny for its free foam volume, all of that stuff. I do realize everyone has different hair types. This routine may not work for you, but if you have hair like me, you have fine, thick density hair and it's straight, wavy, then give this routine a try. I hope that it works really well for you, but I'm gonna leave a link in the description to all these products. That's all I got for you guys in today's video. I will see you in the next one. Peace.